What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we'll be working with Helion Sonic in Cubase 11 Pro. Helion Sonic is the stock VST that comes with Steinberg's Cubase Digital Audio Workstation. We'll cover some basics and we'll also layer a track using only the sounds from Helion Sonic. So let's get started. Our first step is to open up an instance of Helion Sonic and create our track. For this particular project, I'll set the tempo at 128 BPM. Notice there are 16 slots available. For the first instrument, we'll choose some type of keyboard. Let's go with a vintage Whirly. One of the cool features of Helion Sonic is that you can load up to 16 instruments on just one VST open. Once we have our first one, let's see what that sounds like. So now we're going to add a MIDI file that I have created for this exercise. I believe we're in E minor. Let's take a listen. So now let's go over some of Helion Sonic's basic functions. With the Edit tab, you can adjust your sound and set some of the filter parameters. In the MIDI tab, you can adjust the octaves and the root note. With the mix tab, you can control your panning and your volume levels. In Helion, you can also insert your own delay or reverb. With the Options tab, you can control the CPU usage and some of the global settings. Another cool feature of Helion Sonic is that we can layer tracks simply by duplicating our original track. Once we route the outputs, then we can select another instrument for that second track. For this one, we'll go with a synth pad. I'm going for a dark sound, so I'll use one called Approaching. Once we loaded our synth pad, let's listen to it together. And now solo. Now we can add a third layer. For this one, we're gonna go with strings. Make sure we write it to the third output. I'm going for a violin type of sound. Okay, let's see what those strings sound like. Although we have already routed the MIDI outputs, we have to route the outputs inside of Helion Sonic, and this helps create individual mixer tracks for all of those instruments. It's easy to make adjustments since we have three separate mixer tracks for all the three separate MIDI files. 
For the strings, I'm going to go in and extend the notes a little bit. Having separate mixer tracks allows me to put a time effect to our original Whirly track. So MB Rhythmizer is similar to Gross Beat or Halftime, but I'll need to go up an octave to get a better effect from it. So here's our beat. I've added an 808 and some drums. The only synth that we actually used is the stock plugin that comes inside Cubase in Halion Sonic SE. So let's mute our original tracks and see what this sounds like. So I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Please subscribe if you like the content and leave a message to see others like it. Thank you.